Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kast today here. We were discussing the ECG series. In previous lecture, we have discussed the T-wave, abnormalities of T-wave. Today, we are going to discuss the another part of that series, which is PR interval. This PR interval is the part of ECG complex, which is showing the distance between the P-wave and the beginning of QRS complex. This is showing here the distance between this P-wave, which is actually the atrial depolarization and beginning of QRS complex. So distance between the beginning of Q and uh, beginning of P wave and the Q wave is showing the PR interval. So it is the time taken for the impulse to travel from SA node via the AV node fibers to the ventricular musculature. So this is the time taken by the impulse to travel from the AV node SA node via the AV nodal fibers to the ventricular muscle. So this is showing the PR interval. Normally the PR interval is equivalent to 0.12 second or 0.20 second. This is the limit. So basically this is showing on an ECG paper 3 to 5 small square boxes. When you see the ECG paper, you will notice that the PR interval can be prolonged and it can be short. And there can be also possibility of variable PR interval. So the abnormalities of the PR interval involve the prolonged PR interval, short PR interval and variable PR interval. Apart from the normal duration of the PR interval, the PR interval can be abnormal in different clinical conditions. Like here, the PR interval can be prolonged and it can be short and it can be variable. Starting from this one, this is the first abnormality which is prolonged PR interval. Prolonged PR interval will be seen in a conditions like first degree heart block. So when we say that the PR interval is prolonged, this means that this is actually greater than 0.20 seconds, which means it is greater than 5 small square boxes on an ECG paper. So coming towards the uh, causes for this prolonged PR interval which involves the ischemic heart diseases like inferior wall MI. Then comes here the acute rheumatic carditis which involves the degeneration of the fibers which are prolonging the PR interval. Then comes the myocarditis. This uh, the causes for myocarditis can be uh, different but here we can discuss here the hemochromatosis. In hemochromatosis you will see the accumulation of iron in the internodal fibers due to which the PR interval will be prolonged. Then comes the atrial dilatation or hypertrophy, decrease potassium level that is hypokalemia. We have discussed this one earlier in a previous lecture. Uh, this is hypomagnesemia. Then the drugs like quinidine, digitalis toxicity. The people who are using this quinidine or digitalis drugs, they will be having the prolonged PR interval. Then comes the beta blocker or CCB, calcium channel blockers. These are both the AV nodal blocking agents. Then comes the antiarrhythmic drugs, class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs, which are also prolonging the PR interval. So these are all the causes for prolonged PR interval. We have missed here another cause which is the sarcoidosis. In sarcoidosis you will see the accumulation in sarcoidosis you will see the accumulation of non caseous granuloma within the internodal fiber which will lead to the prolonged PR interval. Then comes the another abnormality which is short PR interval. The PR interval will be short when it is less than 0.12 second. There are the causes for this short PR interval which involves WPW syndrome and LGL syndrome. In WPW syndrome, you will see the delta wave in ECG complex, while in LGL syndrome, there will be no delta wave seen on a ECG complex. There are other causes for the short PR interval which involves the steroid therapy and there can also be a normal variant in infants. So in infants, there will be a short PR interval seen on a ECG complex. So these are the two causes we have discussed that is prolonged PR interval then we have discussed the short PR interval. Now we are going to discuss another abnormality which is the variable PR interval. Variable PR interval will be seen 
in conditions like complete AV block, partial AV block. This variable PR interval will also be seen in a Mobitz type 1 and Mobitz type 2 phenomena. These are Benke back phenomena, second degree hard blocks and also in complete AV blocks. In all these conditions, you will see the variable PR interval. So this was all about the PR interval. We have discussed the number one PR interval. Then we have discussed the normal duration of PR interval, abnormalities of the PR interval. In the next video, we will be discussing the major part of the ECG complex, which is the QRS complex. So hope you like my video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.